Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today I've got a collection of four different things that I'm calling Cumbria's Weirdest. So as you might have already seen, we spent a week in Cumbria a little while back. And whenever I go away somewhere, I always have a look around to see if there's anything unusual in a can that I can bring back for this series. Now, just to get the whole weird stuff in a can thing out of the way, what I've got today isn't all that weird, and to some people it's going to seem very normal. It's just the name for a series, let's not get too hung up on it. These are the four most kind of unusual things I could find in Cumbria in metal containers. So, we'll start off with these. This is two varieties of Kendall Mint Cake. Romney's Kendall Mint Cake, the leading brand of Kendall Mint Cake. Now, if you're not familiar with what Kendall Mint Cake is, this is uh, formulated for mountaineers except most of the people who buy it these days are not mountaineers. It's a, bought as a souvenir now from anywhere where you go where there's hiking or mountaineering, especially the Lake District because Kendall is in the Lake District. I bought this in Ambleside, which is just down the road. It says Romney's Kendall Mint Cake was the first mint cake to be successfully carried to the top of Mount Everest, 29th of May 1953, this being the first successful expedition to the summit. So anyway, we'll see in a minute from the ingredients. This costs £5.50 for a tin, 150 gram tin, and this is the chocolate coated variety, which is not the kind of standard. This is a, this is more of a confection than it is a survival ration. Anyway, ingredients, sugar, glucose syrup, water, peppermint flavour, dark chocolate. Um, th that's it. So it's basically a block of sugar coated in chocolate. And Kendall Mint Cake is a block of sugar. And that's the idea of it. It's supposed to be kind of like an emergency energy ration for mountaineers. So this was £5.50 for 150 grams. I've got this little tin here, which I think might have been a Valentine's Day thing or something like that. Tiny, tiny tin. This was 2 95 And I don't think it's got very much in there. Maybe 25 grams. Anyway, this is not the chocolate coated. I just bought this really so we could see what the regular variety was like. But also, it's a weird can. So this is stuff in a weird can. Before we open that, let's just have a look at the two other items I've got, because these are going to have to go in the fridge to get chilled. So Soda Folk Blueberry Muffin Soda. This is not particularly a Cumbria type of thing. This is just, I picked this up in Dunhill, I think, and it's just a, it's just a carbonated soft drink, but it happens to be blueberry muffin flavour, which I thought was a bit unusual. Ingredients, sparkling water, fruit juices from concentrate, which is apple 40%, 40.9%, blueberry 3.1%, natural flavourings, colouring food, Concentrates of carrot and hibiscus. Acid, malic acid. Interestingly, it doesn't have added sugar, so it's only going to be sugar in the form of the apple juice concentrate. So anyway, still a, it's a sparkling, it's a fizzy drink, but blueberry muffin flavour, apparently. And this, which some people might find unusual, Mawson's traditional dandelion and burdock sparkling drink. Now, dandelion and burdock is a traditional carbonated drink, most popular, I think, originally in the north of England, and it is traditionally made from the roots of dandelion plants and burdock plants. So ingredients on this one are carbonated water, sugar, caramel, citric acid, flavorings, including extracts of dandelion and burdock root, preservative, potassium sorbate. A little bit of history here as well. Mawson's was established in 1933 as a herbalist and temperance bar in Oldham and continues today using some of the original recipes. Handcrafted in small batches in the Lake District using blends of natural extracts reminiscent of years gone by. Dandelion and burdock is one of our many original recipes made using genuine extracts of dandelion and burdock roots. Enjoy over ice or as a mixer. I suppose this is England's root beer. It is, after all, made from roots. These two are going to have to go in the fridge to get chilled, so we'll open them a bit later. Let's go back to the Kendall Mint Cake. And we'll start with the chocolate coated one. So inside the tin, we've got a plastic wrapper with two slabs of Kendall Mint Cake inside of it. Ah, chocolate almost coated. Oh, I see it breaks into then chunks. That's good. Because this is just essentially pure sugar. So I don't intend to be eating an awful lot of this today. So the effect is like, if you're familiar with something called after eight mints, the flavour 
is almost identical to that, except the inside is kind of softly crunchy because it is just a cake of sugar. There used to be a, a confection, I don't know if you can still get it, called peppermint ice, which is essentially hard fondant, often coated in chocolate or often just made into little buttons. This is essentially that, very high in sugar. I mean, it is nice. This tin is a, what they call a pocket tin. This is designed to go in coat pocket so that if you're feeling a little bit low on energy while you're out for a hike, you pull that out and have a nibble to restore your energy. I may use it for that. So that's that one. And then this one, which seems almost like somebody's just taped it together rather amateurishly. Maybe that tape wasn't part of the original packaging. Wow, can you believe we spent £2.95 for a tiny little sugar heart. Two tiny sugar hearts. Well, get it right, Michael. There we go. And that's the original recipe Kendall Mint Cake, so that's without the chocolate coating. That's what it would normally look like. Flavour's going to be obviously quite similar. M much harder. I mean, I think the idea of this is you would not chew it anyway. You'd break off a piece and just perhaps dissolve it in your mouth. And that way, well, I think you'd still get quite a sugar rush, but perhaps not quite so much. This one's unusually slightly kind of chewy in the middle there. Very firm, almost like a royal icing in the middle there. Strongly peppermint flavour, as was the other. I feel like maybe that's been stored improperly and it's got a little bit too warm and almost kind of, almost melted, but perhaps softened and then recrystallised or something in the middle there. Anyway, I don't know how weird you think Kendall Mint Cake is. Perhaps you've never heard of it before. Perhaps you think it's completely normal. There it is. But lovely little heart-shaped tin. I should probably reuse that for something. And then these two things have got to go in the fridge. So we'll do that and then back in a moment. Okay, a period of time has elapsed. And these are now chilled down to a temperature suitable for drinking. We'll start with the notionally less weird Soda Folk Blueberry Muffin Soda. Oh, it's a pleasing colour, sort of dark purplish red, very fruity, reminds me of something and I can't think what, yeah no idea, I get the blueberry, not sure I get the muffin, but it's nice. Not overly sweet, nice refreshing, fruity, carbonated soft drink. Okay, on to the dandelion and burdock. So looking very much like a cola, although I would say that's darker than most colas. Very peculiar smell, earthy sort of smell. Normally I expect a quite prominent licorice or aniseed sort of aroma. This doesn't have that right at the front. And I think this might be because this is a traditional recipe. I think maybe some of the more modern sort of interpretations of dandelion and burdock have probably got some flavorings in there to just make things more interesting. So. They've got maybe licorice or aniseed or something like that in there. This is interesting though, because part of this thing is not just the flavour, it's the texture. This drink has a texture, it has a mouthfeel. I don't quite know how to describe it. It's not a syrupy thickness, it's just a not completely watery texture. And I imagine that's probably the roots, that's probably the dandelion, because dandelion has got mucilage in it and burdock probably has as well. So it's probably the roots that are doing that. That's really nice. That's a bit sweeter than that. This is a very berry flavored drink. I was hoping there might be kind of vanilla in there or something like that to make it taste like blueberries and cake, but I can't discern any vanilla in there. And this, yeah, this definitely does taste like a kind of old fashioned drink. Okay, well, 
the thing I nearly always forget to do here is, and everybody asks for, is what are they like if they're combined? Well, let's find out. Well, the colour is now a really weird reddish, muddy colour. The aroma is really only this one because the dandelion and burdock didn't have much of its own prominent aroma. And the flavour, not great. Yeah, just mixing these two things together just kind of muddies the water. And so we've got something that is less than the sum of its parts. Well, there we go. Anyway, I hope that was interesting. That's the weirdest cans I could find in Cumbria. Dandelion and Burdock, Blueberry Muffin Soda, and two varieties of Kendall Mint Cake. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.